Hey guys, this is the hike to Etiwana Falls. The falls. It's a fun little hike. It's not too tough. It's about three and a half miles round trip. There's a little bit of climbing, but it's not a big mountain climb. Um, and you get this beautiful sort of oasis here in the foothills with the falls. And uh, it's a nice little hike just to get a nature fix when you're in the area. So uh, if you want to do it, just go to hikingguy.com. As always, I have the full guide there with parking and maps and all that fun stuff. But otherwise, here are the turn-by-turn -turn directions. There's plenty of parking at the North Etiwana Preserve, but it does uh, fill up pretty quickly because it's a popular hike. So get here as close as you can to opening, which is 6.30 when they open the gates. And the actual trail is straight ahead to the falls. There are other trails here in the park and they always have these little arrow signs with hikers and they point all over the place and they get kind of confusing. But for us, we're gonna go straight through here and it's basically a straight shot almost all the way up to the falls. And I'll show you the little twists and turns, but we're gonna keep going straight here and the trail's easy to follow. It's nice and wide. Here you can see the hours, it closes at sunset roughly. Um, but I have a link to the park website on the on hikingguy.com, so go check that out to make sure that you're there. You don't want to get locked in. And you're going to keep on heading up here. At this first stone pillar, there's an intersection to an interpretive uh, display over at that pavilion to the left. It's only a couple minutes if you want to check it out, but otherwise, uh, keep going straight here, heading uphill. And at this second uh, pillar here, it's a little interpretive display. The uh, One of the first water irrigation systems in Southern California was started here by early settlers from the Etiwanda Creek. And uh, there's a neat little display there where you can learn about that. At this intersection at the stone pillar, we're gonna bear to the right here, which is basically straight. And again, there's lots of other trails here if you wanna explore. It's, uh, there's a lot to see. There's old ruins of an old early settler uh, homestead. So you can spend some time here. But otherwise, keep going straight and you're gonna go uphill here. When there's not clouds, you'll get some views of the high peaks in the distance up past here. It's it's really a beautiful hike. It makes me feel like, uh, like I'm in Scotland sometimes, especially if it's wet. Now at this intersection, we're gonna go straight through again. At this point, we've actually left the preserve and we're in uh, San Bernardino National Forest. And you're kind of entering the foothills here of the San Bernardino Mountains, which is one of the things I love about it. It's very beautiful. You might also notice it's pretty exposed. So in the summer, it gets really hot. Winter is a good time to come visit. And when you get to this gate, you're going to be kind of done with the climbing portion and it levels out a bit. You can see right there, the trail goes all the way up kind of to the base of Etiwana Canyon, where the falls are right there. And we're going to keep going straight here. And as you go up on this portion, you're going to get some uh, little turnoffs here for a couple little viewpoints because there's some great views down into the Inland Empire. Today it was cloudy, so we couldn't see, but normally you can see everything sprawling out in front of you, including Saddleback Mountain and some of the other high peaks. But we're going to keep going straight. And when we reach this little spillway, this little overflow, structure for the creek and irrigation system we're going to bear to the left and go up the main trail there's a couple little trails here to the right those are used by the uh, the water company so we're going to go up to the left here and just do one little last hill and once we get to the top of the hill we're going to go down and we will be at the falls area and you can see it's a wooded area here it's really beautiful the uh the scenery kind of changes from what you were used to before and the creek is here. There's actually two creeks that come together here to form the Etiwanda Creek. And if you crawl around a little bit, there's the falls. Uh, be careful, obviously, but uh, from here, you just go back the way you came, and that's the hike. So that's the hike. It's a fun one. Um, give it a try. It's not long. It's not hard. But again, you get this nice payoff here, so uh, definitely worth doing. If you are on YouTube, I have a link to the full guide in the description. And if you are on YouTube, if you could click that little like button, that little thumbs up that helps other people find the video, do it safely, not fall off a cliff. So, uh, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And otherwise, uh, have fun on the hike. It's a neat one. See ya.